baby dolls. We are celebrating the one year birthday of Pulse Chain. And I've made this post. It's a very long winded post, friends, just because I put a lot of notes out here. It's very interesting. I make these notes for me, by the way, these post, friends. Literally, I make them for me so I can summarize them for you on camera. Isn't that great? Now, obviously, I don't even need to tell you about the price. Pulse Chain is actually down 91% against Ethereum. And people always wonder, like, how do we get that 91%? Well, friends, look, uh, it's very obvious how you have one year ago, the Pulse ETH ratio was up here. It is down, here you go, no, it's 90% now. So hopefully we keep going up. It's down 90%. Now, I want to remind you, one year ago, I was crucified for not having a target of 300x above day one sec, pretty much, because everybody believed in 100x to 1000x. And I was crucified. Now, I had some expectations before the actual launch. Like, hey, if we don't dilute, I didn't even know we were going to dilute, friends. I had no idea. No, no mention of dilution. I thought, well, Richard's a genius. So surely they add market value. He knows more than me, right? And then obviously, we got the unfortunate pole chain dilution effect, which has just crushed everyone's value. Now, I made this poll here. Pole chain is one year old, friends. Where do you think the price is going to be in one year from now? Most people are between 10x to 3x down here. And I can show you quickly on the chart where they expect. So this is the EHEX price chart, friends. But I'll quickly show you Pulse Chain. Where does everyone expect? This is it right here. And right now, that's around up here. So pretty much they expect something, I guess, like this to happen. We're like around this zone. That I think that'll be like great from today's perspective. But friends, telling you right now, I mean, I was literally crucified for it. I also noticed, right? As I go through, all right, I went through this post here, and to my shock, okay, there's people who are obviously aware, they can look at a chart and go, wait a minute, all those talking points that I was promised and we talk about, they didn't turn out true, there's that part. And then there's, of course, there's a couple of copers who, like friends, like I was here in this chair, you understand, like I, when I get thrown out all this hay and spitting, it's fine, man. I know everybody's just here for the green candles and stuff. I know that, but I remember them, and I'm just here to remind you, oh yeah, the crowd was super wrong again. So to revisit what basically happened, friends, you get to see, right, <clears throat> how come it all happened this way? And don't forget, don't forget, still bullish for the future, right? We're still bullish for the future. There are meme coins, I'm going to explain to you, Soilana got famous off meme coins. Meme coins on Soilana, it hit 100 billion valuation. That's a 35x away from, from Pulse Chain. I hope we get there and beyond. But Soilana, not using the Ethereum technology innovations, restaking and AI and deep in all these, not using all of those, it was still able to get that. It doesn't even cater to AI or anything at all. So it's just showing you what the market's pretty much deciding, where retail has been going this cycle. Okay, so it's one year down, friends, and it's 91% down against Ethereum. So just to summarize, you want to know, okay, how this, why, why did this occur to me? How don't we make the mistake again? Well, this is the obviously problem, friends. When you buy high and you pay, you buy high, it doesn't matter who you're listening to, you all, basically all get wrecked. That's pretty much it. And we were still paying for our sins over three years later, right? So why didn't Pulse Chain's biggest airdrop, world's biggest airdrop, that was a talking point. Why didn't have any product market fit compared to Richard Hart's predictions? What did he and the crowd get wrong? As I, right, So we're going to go through it. So the crowd, friends... He catered to 2020 and 2021. Then the market evolved. The market changed. What the market wants after that moved on. It doesn't want old DeFi stuff anymore. That's old. It wants AI, deep in, restaking, but also wants a new meme coins. That's a product market fit. That's what we're clearly seeing right now. You see this Pepe's run. By the way, friends, Dog With Hat by itself flipped the entire Pulse Chain network. That's right. Dog With Hat hit 3 billion and... Pulse Chain, Pulse X, EHEX, PHEX, and Inc. are only 2.8 billion. One main coin flipped it in size with that much popularity. You understand? Just to show you all of these. And the dev sold all these coins. So it's literally full on launch. There's no evil sharks or anything in Dog with Hat. The dev sold all the coins for 29 grand. Okay. Now, this part I did not know was controversial. Remember, Richard Hart said that Pulse Chain was meant to vampire attack the Ethereum users in the industry. So, friends, you're going to tell me. Why did people have a 1,000x expectation? And it was because, man, this is interesting. So shout out to Mr. Crypto Coffee. Also, the other people out there, friends, I'm literally receiving messages right now as we speak who are spitting on me already because they said to me, Richard Hart never said vampire attack. You said that. Where are you, bro? Uh, are you even in the same game here? Richard Hart's video. Pulsex unleashes giant vampire attack on Ethereum. He said this many times, friends, many times. That's where we got the whole idea from. So the goal was fork all the coins, make it cheaper trading, and steal Ethereum's users. 
That's what it was. We're going to like vampire attack off Ethereum. We're going to get the liquidity of Uniswap to come in. Not happening, okay? Now, you're probably looking at humble personalities right now, but back then, that's what was happening because it was 2021. The coins were going up. It was euphoria. Like, yeah, we're going to vampire attack them. Now, no vampire attack talk. Now, it's like, oh, we're friendly. We're helping you scale. Horizontal scaling. Have you seen there's more of a shift towards that? So, it's pretty much as we're showing it to you as it played out in real time, okay? So we already know, right, the difference in the market caps, the difference in the, the narratives as well. Back then, back then, friends, look, there were cycle one narratives that were new back then. They're just not new now. But we still have the new meme coins. You have like Axis and Solid X. We have Hexy Bastard. We have the Tang Gang and all the coins that Peach just launched. You have p Teddy Bear, Tropa. You have the mystery of p -Dye. They are enough to carry. They're actually the real inner workings of what made, I guess, Soilana go up, right? And why can't Pulse Chain get the results? So it's still very bullish and optimistic. It's just that reflect on the past year. There's been no adoption coming in so far. But same as other chains, man. The retailers of here, they don't exist yet. We're waiting for them to come out. The beloved retailers, when they're going to come in. But you got to think about what coins are going to choose. That's why if you have meme coins to cater for them, it makes sense. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just, I'm a observer here, friends. I'm a observer telling you what's been going on. Why is the market choosing these certain coins or not? I just want to remind you, friends, this place the most gentle angel music. Technology is great. Restaking, AI, deep in, they're all great. The problem is the prices. The problem is VCs get the insider deals and they do the, the, the fundraising over and over. They launch at 5 billion fully diluted. Yeah, I would love to own Arbitrum at 100 million market cap and play for a 50x. The problem is they don't give it to you. Pantera Capital or the ETH Maxis, they get them at they get them at those prices. You and I don't get them. It already launches at 5 to 10 billion. Where's the growth? There is no growth. It's already hit max. Now it's just dumping on Visa, dumping dumping on everybody else, friends. Look, compare the chart here of Soilana at um, basically focusing on meme coins. Did a 5X versus Ethereum. Compare that, and then I'll just show you like Arbitrum versus ETH. Arbitrum, friends, from its top down here, dropped 66%. You see that? Case in point. So the meme coins, that's where everyone is moving to. <clears throat> but obviously going forward, on, on the roadmap of Pulse Chain, it did not have any of those new, basically, new product market fits that were going to emerge. It was impossible to do that, you know? Maybe if Richard wasn't, like, maybe uh, outrage marketing and he was sticking around, maybe he could see a different vision. But remember, that's why, friends, main characters, when they peaked, when they peak, it's it's a special moment. They're, they, become, they become a unicorn because they could see a vision of the market product market fit and they can get it really early. Hex was one of those examples. People wanted yield. They want to earn yield, and Richard figured that out. They want that real DeFi part. But then the market changes. It not changes. All the people in that in there, they prices it in. It's not that they change, it prices it in. And everyone thinks he's going to keep getting priced in forever. No. Then there's a new wave of people, a new product market fit, new, te new tech that gets emerged that people then are pricing in. So new facts that we learned, friends. Nobody wants to trade spot uh, SHIB or LINK. Instead, they created Peppy, Dog with Hat, Mog, Landwolf, and a thousand plus new coins. Nobody wants to FOMO buy an Aave clone or GMX clone. Instead, they want new coins in deep in AI and restaking opportunities. So friends, Bucks Protocol, Liquid Loans, all these other ones, they're great. They're wonderful. We need them there. We do need them. PHUX, we need them there. But retailers, these emotional money, the motivated people, they're not having FOMO for them. They're not touching them. They're chasing new meme coins, new stories, new narrative, or new tech. They're chasing them. So, so far, friends, Pulse Chain has been carried by new meme coins, right? Which is actually all Soilana has. You can see that all the excitement, people getting all different meme coins, Tang Gang stuff, what's happening with PDI. Remember, PDI fans, 5,000x from the low. Just showing you the chart. This is freaking insane, 5,000x from the low. Imagine it ends up doing like a 10,000x, 100,000x. You know, it's crazy. It's still got like a 200x to go if it ever reaches the dollar. Is it going to see this story? It grips everybody. All right. So, as we know, friends, though, if Pulse Chain just reaches Soilana status, 100 billion market cap, this is a 35x from today. I hope we get that and beyond. I really, really hope we crush that. All right. So most importantly, though, friends, after seeing all these, you just got to think, okay, what's happened? You saw that. Well, the roadmap was built for a crypto world that just shifted. And who could have seen that coming? Near impossible, friends. I mean, I, I never thought it would happen. Did you Did you really think you're going to see like a Pepe and all these new meme coins appear? Maybe but just maybe just Mr. B-Roots thought about it. Maybe. All right. So as I'm just showing you, it's very, very hard to actually conceptualize this. It's, it's crypto moves so fast, man. Moves so fast. Now, by the way, 
When I say this, every time it's the same thing. People will see a chart down and they think, FUD. And I've got to repeat to you thousands of times, bro, I buy cheap prices. I buy cheap prices. I want them. I don't like seeing freaking, oh, you've gone a 40X for seven months. In a row. I don't want that, man. I don't want that at all. That means I'm out of that. That's a bad deal. I like something that's been going down. But of course, everyone, the crowd is getting angry. And I was like, wait, it's been a year, man. Friends, these dopamine dealers, look, bless their hearts, man. It is. I keep dealing with dopamine. We're going to be up. I'm not going to go out and give specific names because, like, who cares? I mean, bless your hearts. I know we need them to do this. Keys, yes, keep the lights on. Tell everyone, yes, be bullish, be bullish. We need you there. But that's not my investment strategy. No way in hell is that my investment strategy. You've already seen for the past year. Look what happens. If you want, if you want that as your investment strategy, you're a sitting duck. If you're sitting duck in a pond, the hunter's got you in the crosshairs. You'll never get out too early. You'll never sell in the right way. Your target will always be too high. You're just going to be caught with the crowd, make the wrong moves at the wrong time. For the rest of us, though, we're ready. Euphoria doesn't have to happen at 300 to 500x. It might happen lower. But guess what? You can still change your life, man. Luckily, oh, I can't figure it out, friends. Maybe someone out here, do you know him? Maybe he's a squirrel, holds his own nuts. Maybe he's been making videos telling you, if I was myself, I would be DCA buying a crap load as much as I can just in case euphoria is not as high as what the dopamine dealers are saying. Just in case. Just in case market cap is real. Just in case it's heavier to onboard. Just in case, friends. You know, and then look, the saving grace though, we have it here, right? Most important of all, the emergency plan of FOMO buying Ethereum at 3,900 might be the final saving grace. So yes, even though the price is down on that, it's just funny, man. People get really, I don't know, people get really tilted because you're just like, yes, yes, get get over it. Get over it. If you, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen, man. Okay. You know, friends, I know you, they have more weight here because Sorry, they have more pressure on themselves because when people watch me, I know they want to hear 300x. You are going to be rich beyond imagination. They want to hear that. I know that. I'll tell you, go watch someone else. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Get out, bro. I'm here to buy low, sell high. I'm here to win. Okay, I have a winning mindset, a winning mentality. I know the crowd sucks. I know people were abusing me and spitting on me because my targets weren't high enough, saying, Richard's got all the money in the world. He would never let his coin go down more than 95%. He would never let this thing not be a failure. He's thought it out more than you. He's smarter than you. He's better than you. That's what I was being told a year ago. I'm like, bro, you're right. You're right. Okay. You're right about everything. I hope the price is up. What happened? You know exactly what happened. Okay. So there's still 170,000 Ethereum in there, in that wallet. You're playing for Ethereum price. I'm just telling you, it's the risk, man. What if Ethereum doesn't achieve the highest prices? What if it's a third cycle curse? Then what? Then what? We need Richard to sell the top, to rot money, rotate money in. You need all those, man. I'm not going to tell people not, that's not the ID. They know that, friends. You know, there is, there, friends, I'm telling you this. There are many people watching just for that. You can see them on chain. I watch the transactions. I've shown them to you. Richard's wallet start buying. And from the SAC funds, they start buying. He stops they exit. The market is just doing that. All right. That's pretty much it. Now, if there was more adoption from whatever, everyone's controversial about that, right? Oh, is it tech or is it meme coins? Whatever. You've got more people in, you don't have that as much. But guess what, man? Cardanzo, BNB, Phantom, Polkadot, Arbitrum, Optimism, they're all in this same problem. Okay. Because there's been no new retailers coming. It's just been a reorganization, basically, of Bitcoin and Soilana. That's it. They've gotten the lion's share of it. And everyone's waiting. Is there going to be retailers that come in and where they're going to go? All right. So there is that, that still, there's a big, big, big fire cannon, friends. There is a big fire cannon waiting to save us. Yes, waiting to save us. A lot of people will say they don't like that terminology. I don't know, bro. Waiting to save us. Well, you probably told all your friends and family all these guarantees. I think it's just important to be honest about what's going on. Because clearly, friends, hey, well, hey, hey, hey. Well, I've, I've, we, funny enough, right, we had the eHex chart up. Uh, do you guys remember what happened 60 days ago? Mr. Bonbon betrayed me. Everybody else betrayed me. S trying to stab me in the back, friends. I have a diamond back, diamond hands, diamond butt, and a chiseled jaw, all right? Keep trying to stab me. You're not going to get anything. It's like a, try, trying to poke me with wood or plastic. You're not getting through. I could stand in front of the train and look at this e-hex as well from this low. Nice capitulation. Thank you very much. It went up 3.8x. What happened? Okay, the founder wake up doesn't like his coin. Like I told you, bro. 
Network effects. Who cares if he doesn't like his coin? What happened to the past three and a half years of talking points? Did you forget all those? Oh, now we're changing our mind? I knew that was going to happen, fans. I know. That's why not everyone makes it in this game. But I'm just telling you. These network effects are bigger than what everyone thinks. Okay? Coins that Richard doesn't like, they're allowed to rally too. Just like the Dogecoin founder. Remember the Dogecoin founder, friends, sold all his coins. Sold all his coins for a Honda Civic for like 25 or 40 grand. And then it went on billions of dollars. Never forget that. So all, all these things, friends, all these things playing them out. You're looking at this price chart. Don't let, what I love is, I don't love it. I don't really like it as well. The, the delusion of stuff going out there. It's like, no, bro, you set everyone else's expectations up for your audience and everyone else. And now that it's not here, you're saying, you're crying, bro. Well, you guys, everyone else is fud, all this crying. I know, man, I mean, the market speaks. Don't worry about these words and stuff. It speaks with the prices. That's what it is. It, it speaks and it adjusts with these prices. So where do we go from here? Well, it's always risky, but you just, you're taking a punt now. So am I. We're taking a punt. Is Soilana's meme coin renaissance, which is what Pulse Chain community is naturally doing, by the way, is that enough to carry the chain up until the, the big, great rotation of the Ethereum and stuff? I hope so. I think so. I think so. I don't think this AI restaking and all these other new tech stuff, I don't think it's going to excite people anywhere, anywhere near to where we need them to be. There's probably going to be new narratives coming on later on, friends. That's what might be coming in later. For example, you know with AI already, you know AI, friends, there's AI agents now. You know how there was a DeFi in 2020? Well, in the next season, the old DeFi, Chainlink and Union stuff, they did not rally as much. It was DeFi 2.0, Olympus Dow, Luna, Hex, that was DeFi 2.0, <clears throat> just handing out yield in different game mechanics. Well, AI, the AI and computing power, it's already evolving. There's a new narrative coming out later on. AI agents, skillful. I think one of the one I told you guys about, to, if you want to do the community whitelist round. Okay, so AI agents is basically, it's tools to help you with AI. It's like your own personalized chat box. And it solves a problem where, okay, you don't need to feed it data and rely on sharing your information with the world. It's, it's in-house. Just showing you how the narrative is moving already. Guess what, man? People holding AI coins, they think they've solved it. Well, that's their risk. What if in the next season, three, six, nine, 12 months, it's an AI agent's narrative? What if it's not your big AI chain? What if you're just slowing down? You see, so friends, everyone goes out through here. That's why I think the power of these meme coins and putting culture on the chain can carry this further, of course, with everybody's work together. So if we go back to that Pulse Chain chart, the crowd has different expectations, right? They're expecting around a 10x, but I'm just, I'm telling you right now, man, Friends, just to tell you, to get back to break even, it is RP. All right, that's it. So based on Ethereum's price, Pulse Chain has to go around 8x day one sack. That's break even. Just showing you where it is. Just showing you where it is. So that would make the Pulse ETH ratio go the same. That's assuming Ethereum is still $3,000 in a year. If Ethereum is $6,000 in a year, then we need... Pulse chain to be 16x. The hurdle rate is even higher. It's actually all the way up here because Ethereum has now moved up. What do you think is going to happen, friends? I know, man, I, I, I sit here all the time. A lot of people say, man, I really respect what you do, copying all these hits all the time, going through all these. Is it exhausting? No, it's not exhausting. It charges me up, friends. We're here to buy low, sell high. I'm here explaining it for you. I don't, I don't, I can just shut my mouth, right? So you can choose how you want to allocate your portfolio. 90% call, 10% lottery can't hurt you. But just showing you, right, there's consequences for action to you. If, if the world, look, friends, the final thing I'll say, there was a 300x expectation from day one. Like that was the average from the polls of Pulse Chain. That was under the assumption world's biggest airdrop had product market fit. So it did not happen like that. Instead, they got new meme coins. They made Peppy. They made Mog. They made all these other new things. They did not go into buying the older stuff. And so maybe, maybe, friends, the new meme coins we're seeing now can at least help punch through that resistance. So where do you think we're going to land in, in a year from now? Right? It's going to be another 12 months. It could be even near the top. Remember, at the end of the day, you still got to do the same thing, friends. Buy low, sell high. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. Like I just, friends, I've got special for you. Sami prophecy. You're hearing it first time here. There's going to be, in the bull market, there's going to be people calling for very, very high price targets, and they're going to be selling. 
And only in the next bear market in many coins, people are going to find out, oh, wow, that guy was lying the whole time. They were calling for like, you know, multiple dollars or multiple Xs higher and they were actually getting out the whole time. So I'm here to look after you. I don't care about these other people. I don't care what they say. It doesn't impact me at all. And by the way, at the end of the day, look at that track record. You know that track record. It ain't worth anything. They're just a talking mouth on the internet. Make sure you like, subscribe on the... Make sure you like, subscribe, friends. Catch you soon.